Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mario, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and today I'm doing an updated makeup routine. I am using some of the products that I used in my last makeup video, which was a Sephora haul. So I hope that you guys really, really enjoy this. Definitely like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. I already did my brows or whatever. So I usually just use my Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow along with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Like that's literally what I use for my brows at all times until I come up with another brow routine, but that's what I've been honestly sticking to. So as far as foundations go, what I've been doing lately, I've been mixing two foundations. So this is the Vision Cream Cover by Danessa Myricks, and this is like Chef's Kiss, amazing. The only thing about this is it has more of like a reddish undertone, and this here is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. This is more closer to my undertone, but I like this finish. So what I do is mix them. So oh, y'all, I was so mad because I wasn't in focus, but don't worry. I'm gonna show you guys the finish, but unfortunately, I was not in focus. So here's the finish, and I absolutely love this finish, y'all. It looks so natural, so good. So these two, they just been doing it for me. So as far as concealer, I'm still using my Fenty, um, my Pro, my, ugh, I can't talk. My Pro Filter Fenty Concealer in the shade 385. So I'm gonna start to use this, but one technique I've been doing is letting it dry down so it's more focused, it has more coverage in the area. So let's do that. For every day, most likely, I will not be doing like the nose contour, the forehead contour, but definitely under my eyes, my chin like this and then also I like to get under like my cheekbone area okay so now that I let it sit for a little while I'm actually gonna start to blend this out another thing I've been doing lately too is using like a smaller brush this is by um, Luxie and it's the detail round blender and I've been also using this for my concealers just to keep it concentrated in a specific area so yeah I've been really enjoying using like these small detailed brushes We are looking good so far. I also like to kind of use the same brush over my eyelids because they are kind of dark. So I do like to go over like my eyelids. So we're all blended. So I'm actually gonna go in with my favorite setting powder. And this is by Laura Mercier. This is a translucent honey powder. And I really, 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 really love the finish of this powder. So this was a product that I'm so happy that I purchased in a Sephora haul. And this is the Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer. It is a cream bronzer. So I'm gonna take my finger, dip it in, and then I'm going to just apply this to like my cheek area. And then I'm gonna blend that out with a brush. I also can apply this, you know, above my forehead and stuff like that for that bronzy look. I'm about to dust off this excess powder and I'm gonna spray my all nighter spray and then use my favorite highlighter. Now this is not an everyday, it's kind of like, you know, if Imari wants to do it up a little bit more or in days where I have more time or nice weather or if I'm going out after work type thing. So get ready, get ready, get ready. 
even before I do that step, I totally forgot. I like to go in with a little bit more powder just to set like under that contour area here. Alright, now I'm going to spray my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray in this, y'all. Honestly, I really like the Charlotte Tillsbury, but it's been making me really, really dry. So I was like, okay, I'm in need of another setting spray because I don't want every look to be like super matte. Like, I really don't like it. It makes me feel super uncomfortable. So I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay All Nighter. And I also have to say that this pump gives like the perfect like mist. Like this is a mist, okay? A lot of brands need to take note. I really like to use the Zanessa Myrick Illuminating Veil in the shade Radiance. This is like the perfect like highlighter. So it is a liquid, so I do put it on here. And then I just simply take a brush. This is a highlight and glow brush by the brand Royal and Lang Nickel. So I'm gonna take this brush and then find the highlights of my cheeks right here. And I'm just going to put this in and blend it. y'all see it's like a really like healthy glow going on love this so this is actually the Manani a put matte eyeliner and I've been just applying my eyeliner in a different way and I'm going to try super super hard so you guys can see it because I know I can't talk while I do this so please bear with me um, but I'll come close in the camera just so you guys can, you know, see it. But one thing that I've been doing is like kind of like elongating this part, the inner corner. It really accentuates like my eye shape. So I've been doing that, like bringing it out a little bit more. So now I'm gonna take this Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte um, Eye Pencil. Line the bottom. Like the corner. I'm not gonna go all the way. And I'm also going to line like just the beginning of my eye. I've been really like, I don't know why I've been doing this, but I just really love the look, you guys. I'm gonna be using the Buxom full on plumping lip cream in the shade Dolly. And this has been like my fave. All right, so I don't know how I forgot the mascara part and then my camera shut off on me, but I've been using the Maybelline, the Falsies mascara, honestly. I re-upped on this about a week ago. And if I re-upped on like a mascara, I'm like, wow, it really did something for me because I'm honestly not sold on any type of mascara. So honestly, this is really what I've been doing on a day-to-day -day, like makeup. And this is like, you know, if I don't go out anywhere fancy, like this is just the look, okay? Um, so I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed it. I did use some of the Sephora products that I picked up from the last video. I do plan on doing a more in-depth video glam look with like the Danessa Myers Color Fix. So definitely stay tuned, but I definitely wanted to update you guys on like the everyday things that I am doing as far as makeup and this is it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.